Hello and welcome to another tutorial about the ZwiftUI calculator. Um, some people have asked me how they can add other uh, static variables like this to our app. And in this tutorial I will show you how to do this. So what we, uh, what's the key of this video is basically how we can create another variable like that. And here you see the number is equal to dot pi and you may ask uh, how this dot influences the pi and basically uh, the compiler knows that the number is a double and therefore the compiler knows that this argument right here also has to be a double so if you just uh, write the point, it thinks of it like double dot pi. So this is exactly the same thing as that. And if you now want to add other constants, you just have to write an extension to double. And here write the static let, for example, my number, which is of type double, of course, and it is equal to 1.2345 and now we can say right here else if number is equal to my number we want to return for example um, just an n and now if we for example Instead of the zero, we add my number. Right, so as down here, just dot my number, and we resume that. We will see that we have an n right here. So if we start, the pi works as we think it works. And if we write an n. This is exactly what we get. We only get 1.23 because we only see the first two uh, the first two decimal places. But if we multiply it by 10, oh, which doesn't work because we don't have the zero anymore. But yeah, you have all the you have your new constant and if we change this to 1.5 for example uh, it works this uh, we will get 1.5 yeah here you see it i hope you enjoyed the video if you liked it leave a like and hope to see you in the next video